Happy Halloween everyone, meteorologist Ryan Hoke here with today's Hokey video blog. We're tracking a forecast that's giving a lot of people kind of a spook because of a little bit of shower activity that we may have this evening. We'll go over that here in a second. Up first, it is today's Hokey weather fact, and we're talking about the fact that last year... We had a trace of snow on Halloween, even a little bit of sleet in there. The time before that that we had a trace of snow on Halloween was back in 1993 when Frankfurt almost received an inch of snow on the ground there. By the way, this is my 200th hokey weather fact. If you want to see all 200 of them, they're on our website, wave3.com. Hover, hover over the weather tab on the desktop version of wave3.com. Click on hokey weather facts when that pops up in the bar below it, and you can see a slideshow with all of those available there. Hey, while you're there tonight, uh, click on the weather blog as well. We'll have our official 2015-2016 weather forecast for this winter, and I'll tell you what, looks pretty interesting. You'll want to be there at 9 p.m. on the Wave 3 News weather blog as that publishes and you'll be able to see all of our thoughts listed there. All right, this morning, got a couple of showers off to our west trying to move into Du Bois County. A lot of this is not reaching the ground. This is going to be what we call Virga, rain that falls from the sky but doesn't quite hit the ground because it evaporates. So we'll watch for that and we'll watch for a sprinkle or two that is possible from this as it moves through. It will be a dry afternoon for the most part thanks to high pressure keeping things under pretty good control at least for the next I'd say ooh, about uh, 12 hours or so before the showers really begin to set in. Down to the southwest we go and look at the Houston, Galveston, Beaumont area. My goodness, they are dealing with multiple tornado warnings this morning. Uh, the one that you see there listed on the screen is probably about the fourth or fifth that I've seen there. They've had uh, just a lot of trouble with storms down that way. Even a tornado reported on the ground earlier. Flash flooding becoming a problem pretty much just north of I-10. Uh, the Houston uh, Beaumont area down there. Thoughts with those folks as they deal with a very rocky Halloween morning. Back here in Metro Louisville, though, things, of course, much quieter than that. Temperatures starting out in the 40s this morning. And by 12 noon, we'll be in the mid-50s. The rain stays off to our west for the most part. Again, sprinkle or two possible, but no steady rain, at least this afternoon. By about 5.30, a shower or two of the stray variety possible south of Metro Louisville, especially west of I-65 by that point, 62. So get the kids out the door trick-or-treating as early as you can this evening, 5, 6 o'clock. Probably a good time for that because look at this, by 7.30, showers begin to move in, especially south of the Louisville Metro, but we can't discount them here even. Uh, temperatures around 60 during that time, so chilly but not overly cool. By 9.30, the showers, they continue rolling through, maybe a few waves of these, the heaviest of which occurring around midnight and again, south of Louisville for the heaviest of those showers. By Sunday morning, as you're heading to church after Halloween, looks like things are going to be relatively dry. Temperatures overnight pretty consistent in the mid to upper 50s. Rainfall total should be the heaviest south of Louisville where we can pick up to a half inch down there from Campbellsville down toward Columbia. Now, here's a look at the seven-day breakdown. I wanted to show you what the uh, next few days look like in terms of our forecast. For Saturday, a lot of folks heading over to Lexington for, of course, the Belmont Stakes at Keeneland. Here's how it looks there. Temperatures will be getting up towards 60 degrees by 5 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies. Small shower chance in there shouldn't be a big deal. The hour-by-hour -hour Halloween forecast for us for trick-or-treaters tonight gets that 40% chance of showers in there after about 8 o'clock or so, but it could be as early as 7.30 when we see that. So we'll fine-tune that as we go throughout the day. Sunday, of course, you'll want to turn back your clocks early uh, before you head to bed tonight, really, because we're going to fall back from daylight saving time at 2 a.m. Sunday, so before you head to bed, uh, make sure you've got the smoke detector, batteries changed out, and then set those clocks back an hour, especially on the uh, microwaves and the stoves and uh, those manual clocks that don't automatically set themselves like uh, your phone does here. Now, as we go through time here on your Monday, we do have a small shower chance early. Temperatures will be topping at 72 degrees during the afternoon. By Wednesday, a mostly sunny sky there, 78. We may be very close to the record high of 80 degrees. Tuesday, backing up a day, of course, is Election Day, November 3rd. We get to elect a new governor here in Kentucky. It'll be 72 degrees for a high temperature there. Around uh, the time the polls close, I think we'll top out, though, at 74 overall during the day. Thursday, small shower chance. Friday, same story. Give you a quick look at the earliest alert. Outlook gives us a look at the second week of November as well. You'll see that we do have 50s behind this next front that's going to be coming through at some point Friday night-ish. That's why I've got a shower chance in there for Friday. 
Uh, real shower chance, a big, bigger one by Saturday, though, as I think the bulk of that moisture is going to be moving through. 50s continue through about the 10th. By the 11th on Veterans Day, looks like about 60 degrees uh, there for a high temperature, and we'll be back into the 60s through the 13th of November. Can you believe it's November already? I can hear Christmas music at a distance. Don't worry, folks. Uh, we've got about, oh, just over 18 hours before I think some of the radio stations here in town will even start playing it that time of year folks already all right that's it for the hokey video blog thank you so much for watching got a special hour of way through news weekend sunrise coming up from eight to nine this morning if you're watching this video by then otherwise we'll see you back here tonight at 9 p.m for the unveiling of our 2015 2016 winter forecast on the wave three news storm tracking team blog that's it for now i'm meteorologist ryan hoke see you tomorrow